Hey, Manny Fish, it's the 14th of February, 2018, and I was looking around at this uh, Olympic opening stuff they did. I haven't had a lot of time to look at it, but I came across this one, and it it just kind of like came on me again to uh, to share a little bit of information that I know, and this it's pretty much pertaining to the real world, okay? This is like the real deal that affects every single person who walks or wheels or crawls on the face of the planet. And uh, I just want you to watch these drones here for a second. Okay, they're just coming in like a swarm, basically, and then they take formation and form into a snowboarder. Um, pretty impressive stuff, you must admit. And these drones are not able to do what you're seeing here without a certain type of communication system in place. I want you to look at this and understand what you're looking at. Okay? You need to, you need to take into consideration that there's anywhere from, I'm guessing, a minimum of 500 drones there, if not more like a thousand. And you have to imagine that these these can be commanded in real time using this 5G communications that they set up here in their Olympic city here. Okay? Now, why is that important? Well, because if you look around, I mean, it is it is not going to go away the whole robot revolution. I mean, it is it is not going away. And in order for it to grow and thrive, it needs the 5G because it eliminates the latency. There is no delay. It's real time. However, they don't want to take the time to test the effects on the human biological system and all the ecological systems, just like they never took the time for the current communication systems which are extremely detrimental in my opinion and so they're just gonna they're just gonna put out this system whether you or I like it or not and the only reason I'm even talking about this is because it affects your very eternity essentially because the system that will eventually be put in place is going to virtually run everything you're going to be doing all your uh, banking all your shopping all everything financial is all going to be tracked through this new system in real time and it's just going to be wonderful because you know it's just going to be great but you have to remember what this system is enabling the internet of things to do and unbeknownst to many people, even though you can find the information freely, most products now, electronic products especially, which are most products, including cars, toys, appliances, your coffee maker, toaster, everything, literally everything, will be communicating with this system. And you might think, well, you know, so what? Well, you shouldn't just be thinking, so what? Because what that does is literally takes every, every form of privacy that you've ever known or enjoyed and takes it from you. Quite literally, steals it from you. It, because if you understand what you're looking at here and what the system that will be put in place can literally make or break your life in a moment and you might say well there'll be a set of laws and rules and everything uh, there might be initially and you might have a few ways that you can you know kind of like duck and bob around the system but not for long it's going to require a mark it's going to require something of you that you will understand when that time comes that you are committing to something forever okay 
So just bear that in mind and don't take that mark. Now, when this 5G system goes into place, I mean, they're already, folks, you, you just can't underestimate what they're already doing. These are not normal computers that they're putting in place now. Google runs the quantum systems, uh, Lockheed Martin, NASA. And when these things, they learn as they go and they use these qubits that I will link this and you can go into this. But this is not uh, your normal computing system by any stretch of the imagination. It taps directly into the vast fabric of reality. <laughs> The strange and counterintuitive world of quantum mechanics. And you got to understand, these people are pulling information in and allowing... It's not even information. Let me rephrase that. They have all the information that they want to compute, but they can't do it with their human capacity. They need help. That's where the quantum field comes in. And they love their little scientific words. All that really means is they're talking to demons and the watchers and the Nephilim. And they are gathering in their intelligence capacity to be essentially omnipresent in the world once this system is in place. And all it wants is your soul. That's all it's after. And, and don't ever underestimate what is already in waiting for this world when it is time for it to be unleashed. And that is this type of technology coming to visit you just walking down the street or right at your home when it feels as though you might need some help because that's what it'll be there for is to help you and give you a comfortable life. No troubles, no worries, because they'll be able to eliminate all the crime and everything in real time. You ever hear of pre-crime? Okay, these things are absolutely real. What they show you is such the tip of the iceberg, it's ridiculous. Folks, they have literal, I mean, Armies of tens of thousands of these things on the ground, in the sea, and in the air, and under sea, in, in the system. It's literally the system will become essentially alive. And the entities that will be overseeing that system are not your friends. They'll pretend to be your friends. Oh, yeah. And they're going to offer you the best of the best of the best. And these these things that we saw in this oblivion thing that everybody's seen, those are all ready to go. You think I'm kidding? <laughs> and I don't laugh sarcastically. It's just you people, some of you, just have no idea what's coming upon the earth. And, you know, whether you're here or not to see this stuff if you happen to be <laughs> you're here now and we full know that the only thing that'll keep this evil from literally devouring your soul is the Holy Spirit is the, the power of Christ is the Most High God this is the only thing that is gonna because what's going to run all these things is the exact opposite of God. But it's going to present itself as God. And even the elect may be deceived. So you need to be walking in Christ always. <laughs> not some of the time. Not part of the time. Always. Because it's on. It's here. They were using 5G to chase away, of all things, swine. Can you get over that? Swine. What, what were the swine? What did Jesus drive into the swine? Oh, yeah. The legion. 
My name is Legion, for we are many. Oh, yeah, they are many. They are many. And uh, again, it's this is not in any way, shape, or form to scare anybody. This is just reality, folks, that, uh, you know, you can choose to see it or not. But let me tell you, your very eternity depends on the choices you make. So I hope you make the right choice, and that is Jesus. He's the only way. Seek him today. And uh, resist 5G if you can. Oh, I wanted to tell you. Now, I personally, with my cell phone, use products that uh, that block that block the signal from getting to the phone. You know, if you want to travel somewhere and not have your phone tracked, you could put it in these, and they make them for laptops and everything too. And I do know these people. Okay, just so you know, but um, they work really well. It's just a one of those little little sticks that we can throw in the spokes of the beast, you know, before it fully encompasses the world, because that's what it's going to do. And these guys are bringing in the entities that will run the whole show. And I've shown you their site. Everybody knows the 666, the Kali, even on their own websites, are demons. and executioners I've shown you this before you see him that's his mouth right there that's a hood right there this is his eye this is his eye that's his nose coming down the side of his face with the hood that's his mouth it's an executioner and then there's a giant freaking demon right there with the devil in the middle of his face and that's CERN's about page actually it's on every page this is this is a spiritual war folks these are demons and devils we're dealing with and they are coming to town with this type of technology that they're not going to be using it to help you folks it'll seem like it but that's not the case i'm sorry you need to seek jesus you need to be saved that's all I can tell you. Sorry to start your day like that, but there you have it. It's got to be done. Peace and grace to you, and fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 